Hello guys, the video you're about to see was meant to be released back in May 2023, almost a year ago. There was a discussion on my Twitch stream that Sony should be getting an exclusive rights to develop the Metal Gear games, given to the fact that Sony's history into developing games that have movie cinematic feeling into them, like Uncharted, The Last of Us, God of War, etc, etc, you know my point. So I responded by saying Sony does not deserve the Metal Gear series anymore. And I started explaining my point of view for it. Some of my audience on my Twitch stream suggested that I should make a video explaining in details why Sony does not deserve the series anymore. So I start making a video on the topic. And as I was working on the video, PlayStation Showcase happened and Metal Gear Solid The Master Collection Volume 1 was announced, which has pretty much killed my progress in the video as there is no reason to upload such a video anymore. Two months later, in July 2023, we had another discussion of the topic again, and it was way bigger than before. So I decided to continue working on the video, despite the fact there is no reason to make the video anymore, thanks to the announcement of the Master Collection. Plus, it was also a good opportunity to shed the light on the state of the series prior to the announcement of the Master Collection. So I continued working on it, I finished the script for the video, and I decided to put the video on release on August 2023. But unfortunately, as I was working on the video, I was very busy with life during that time. And as I was keep on working on it, it was getting harder and harder to justify the video as I was working on it. Fast forward to the Master Collection release, I decided to put the video on hold and pretty much focus on making video guides for the Master Collection. Last month, I finally decided to continue making the video, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a struggle. I was very busy in real life, and as you guys notice, I have not been streaming uh, or posting any videos on my YouTube channel for the past two months because I was busy. Finally, I was able to finish the video, which you're about to see now. However, keep in mind, this video was meant to be released on August 2023. The Master Collection was not released just yet, so things will be a little bit outdated. Enjoy the video. Let's pretend for a moment the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection did not exist. Let me ask you a question. How many Metal Gear Solid games can you play right now on the PlayStation 5? Let's count them all, shall we? First, we have Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zero, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, and Metal Gear Survive. Three Metal Gear games that you can actually play right now. These games were released on the PlayStation 4 and can only be played thanks to the backward compatibility that the PlayStation 5 have for PlayStation 4 games. Alright, let's jump into the competition Microsoft and their Xbox Series X slash S console. How many Metal Gear games can I play on that system? Nine Metal Gear games. Five of these games are part of the HD collection that was released in 2011 on the Xbox 360, which include Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And then we have the three initial games that were available on Sony's console, which are Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zero, Phantom Pain, and Metal Gear Survive. And finally, the last game is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. 9 Metal Gear games that you can play right now on the Xbox Series console if you want to, compared to the 3 games that the PlayStation 5 have. Although both Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 has been removed from the digital storefronts back in 2021, that does not change the fact that these games were available and are now playable natively on the Microsoft consoles. And all these games, especially the one that were originally released on the Xbox 360 have been playable since 2018 thanks to the backward compatibility program that the Xbox One and the Xbox Series have. And you might be thinking, that's because the Xbox console have backward compatibility for previous generation of Xbox games. That's why they have access to Metal Gear games compared to Sony's console, which does not have backward compatibility to PlayStation 3 games. Which is correct, but that is not an excuse. Just because you do not have backward compatibility program for PlayStation 3 games, does not mean you cannot go and make a deal with Konami to bring these games to PlayStation 4 slash 5 consoles. Sony can simply go to Konami and ask them to port these games to their modern hardwares. 
But they chose to do nothing. They let Microsoft have these games in their console for themselves for five years, with great enhancements such as more cleaner visuals, locked frame rate at 60 FPS that does not drop, and faster load times. And I know what a lot of people might be saying, that these games can be played on Sony's console via PlayStation Now service. If you subscribe to the service, you will be able to play these games on your PlayStation hardware. And I'm gonna say, really? PlayStation Now? You're telling me to play these games via cloud streaming with awful bitrate, delayed inputs, bad frame rates, and lower IQs thanks to the fact that these being operated and streamed using PlayStation 3 based hardware compared to the competition where you can play these games natively on Xbox hardwares. No emulation, no streaming, and with even better performance and amazing IQ to the games. And Sony's expect us to enjoy these games in their streaming service with subpar awful performance compared to what Microsoft offer in their consoles? Are they mad? Also, Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 are not available anymore as they were removed from the service back in 2021. You cannot play them or access them at all. Unlike Xbox Series, where if you have the disc or purchase the game digitally from the Xbox Marketplace prior to the removal, you can still download and play these games without issues. This is unacceptable from Sony's part. The Metal Gear series used to be a system seller for their consoles back in the day. Metal Gear Solid 2 had over 2 million pre-orders and boosted the sales of the PlayStation 2 by a significant margin. And the same exact thing happened with Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4, where the latter ended up boosting the PlayStation 3 consoles in Japan from selling at a weekly rate of 10,000 consoles to over 75 consoles sold when the game was released. Which is funny because the PlayStation 3 in Japan was suffering quite a lot in its early years, and the release of Metal Gear Solid 4 helped the console in the region a lot. You can obviously see that the series used to be a system seller. So for Sony to abandon this amazing series, and not do anything to make these games at least playable in their recent consoles is unacceptable. And you might argue, well, Konami should be the one to re-release these games to Sony's platform. And it's true, it is Konami's IP, and Konami have the freedom to do whatever they want with their games. And because they have the freedom, they can just sit down and do nothing because Konami do not care. They do not care whether the series is making money to them or not. That's why Sony should be the one who will approach Konami and start negotiating a deal with them to release these games to Sony's platforms. And I can definitely bet that if Sony was the one approaching Konami in regards of these games, Konami will accept and will re-release these games to the PlayStation consoles. But Sony didn't do that. They decided the series is not worth it since Kojima left Konami. There is absolutely no reason for them to make a deal with Konami to bring these games to their consoles. In Sony's eyes, the series is dead and they better focus on what Kojima was working on instead. And I know Konami will definitely release these games to PlayStation consoles if they were approached by Sony. Back in 2017, a port of Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 has been released for a very obscured console, which is the Nvidia Shield. And yes, Nvidia had a console, and both Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 were released on that console. So what made Konami to decide to release these games to that obscured console instead of a known one? That's because they were approached by Nvidia and asked them to release these two games to the Nvidia Shield and Konami accepted. Although these games are not available on the Nvidia store anymore due to their removal in 2021, my point is, all Sony need to do is to approach Konami and get a deal with them to release these games on their consoles. Oh, and one more thing. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was also released on the Nvidia Shield, and that's just great. Now you have three great Metal Gear games available on an obscured console called the Nvidia Shield, and none of these games can be played natively on PlayStation 4 slash 5 consoles. What excuse does Sony have for not having these games in their hardware? I might sound like a broken record, but I was upset that Sony did not do anything for the Metal Gear fans in their consoles. I felt betrayed that Xbox had 9 games ready to be played compared to the 3 games that PlayStation have, and they are not even remotely good to what Xbox have. And Microsoft did not stop there. They made sure these games will run very good in their hardwares. Like I mentioned before, they had great visuals, perfect performance, faster load times, and responsive controls. And Microsoft made sure to fix any issues that prevented these games from running optimally. In 2020, when the Xbox Series X-S was released, 
There was an issue in Metal Gear Solid 3 where the game crashes on the bike chase. Microsoft didn't just sit down and says, oh, tough luck, there's nothing we can do about it, contact Konami to fix it. Instead, the backward compatibility team at Microsoft worked very hard to fix the issue and released a patch on their own to address the crashing issue within the game. There was also another issue with Metal Gear Solid 2 where the load times got significantly slower if you connect to Xbox Live. And they fixed that issue too. There is absolutely no reason for Microsoft to fix the slow load issues, but they fixed it anyway. Microsoft cares about these games, and cares that their player base can enjoy these games in the best possible way. Now that the Master Collection has been announced by Konami, and they are the one making them. They are coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X slash S, Nintendo Switch and PC. We can finally enjoy these games in our favorite hardwares. And keep in mind, the Xbox is still the winner even with the Master Collection, as they have two extra games which are Peace Walker and Rising Revengeance, bumping the amount of games that can be played on the Xbox Series from 9 games to 13 games, thanks to the Master Collection adding four extra games to the Xbox Metal Gear library, which are Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, Metal Gear NES, and Snake's Revenge compared to the 11 games which PlayStation 5 will have when the Master Collection releases by October 24th, 2023. Although things will be better for PlayStation fans when the Master Collection releases, I just wanted to shed the light on how Xbox player base were enjoying these games for 5 years and still enjoy them in their console since 2018. And that's all because Microsoft cares. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.